What's up everybody, Cheese here. So this is my idea for an art installation for the Electric Forest 2020. I call it the Golden Origami Tree. And as you can see unfolding over here on the side, I did a mock-up of my idea in Tilt Brush, in VR, so I could see what it would look like, how many of whatevers I would need. And at its center, you have a gold, a tree where we have artificial branches with golden leaves on them. They're made out of a golden foil and they're origami leaves. And then we have a whole bunch of warm yellow lights underneath which we have some treasure chest looking things that have origami materials. We've got some cushions on the ground to create a nice, nice warm inviting space for people to come and hang out. So that's the center tree. Now around it, you can see it unfolding right now, there's other artificial branches with origami leaves, but they're not made out of the gold foil that the center tree are. They're just made out of regular origami paper, sprayed down so they're waterproof and all that. But they all surround the golden tree, growing in the same direction towards it, kind of like moss grows towards north. So they all grow towards the origami tree. And we'll put some accent lights out there to spotlight all of this up. There's the traditional Japanese folklore uh, story where if you make a thousand cranes, uh, it'll bring good luck, it'll give you a wish from the gods, long lasting life, all of that good stuff. So I'm figuring if we create a little station where there's, you know, there's some clipboards in there, so they got like a hard surface to work with, there's some origami materials, there's, uh, we'll make some copies of, of the, um, the instructions on how to make the crane. We'll put all that stuff in there and then we'll put those around this area over here. And so it'll create a nice warm environment for people to uh, to come and hang out and make some origami things and you know. So these little splotches that you can see down here. So these are like throw pillows and outdoor like bench seating so that you could get you know a couple of people sitting on it. Um, all of these over here for the, the outer ring of, of fake branches will have lights shining up on those. Um, so you're probably wondering cost and all that, right? So uh, I created an app to help me organize my thoughts. That's what I do for a living. And so you can see here the total that I have for the grand scheme of everything is 3611. So that includes the fake branches, paper for the leaves along with other things for the leaf as well so you have not just so like right you know special papers so that it look like bright and iridescent on the outsides and then you have the gold silver foil for the middle and then this is the waterproofing spray so you have stuff for the leaves stuff for the branches you have um th this floral paddle wire this is this will allow me to attach the fake branches to a tree. The tape is so I can tape the leaves and the glue so I can get the leaves onto the branches and it won't come off. So lighting. Okay, so lighting, I'm figuring, obviously we'll have the warm yellow lights of these nice little ball kind. I think that'd be really cool on the golden tree. Tons of them going all the way up. So it's super bright at night. So it creates this inviting you know, atmosphere. You just wanna go and you wanna sit down and there's cushions on the ground, you can just chill. Um, you've got party lights like this just for accents, right? So all of the surrounding ones will have these on them, various materials to make all of that work. And then some Xmas, so uh, those Xmas home lasers, you know, I'm figuring we could do four of those and just kind of shine them up there just for a little extra pizzazz. So that's, if you just wanted the golden tree and the surrounding origami ones, uh, it would be not 36, but $2,400. But when you add in the origami stations and the throw pillows, you can see the throw pillows are 600 bucks because they're roughly 30 bucks a piece, you know, 35, 30 bucks a piece. And so, you know, you want to throw a fair amount of those around there. So I figured 10 of this, 10 of that, you know, 600 bucks. Um, and then the origami crane stations, they consist of like some kind of trunk or thing like this. Well, you can get them at, you know, Home Depot. There's a whole bunch of places that sell things like this. Pretty cheap, 35 bucks a piece. So we get 10 of these or five. Um, and then inside of that, there's a thousand crane origami paper kit because they just sell this and it has everything that you need to do that. It has all the paper, it has a little instruction booklet. Um, will include free, we'll make 200 extra copies. 
This is a free open source origami form to make this crane. It's the most widely popular known one there is. So we'll have extra instructions inside. Uh, all of that paper stuff is gonna be inside some kind of plastic thing. That way if water gets inside the tote, inside the trunk, everything still stays dry. So that's the origami station. And that's what I'm talking about with these. I want to put a sign on the tree that has a summary of the Japanese folklore, maybe something about how this tree has a thousand golden leaves on it, and that, you know, something like, together we can fill this tree with cranes. So the leaves will be made out of a gold foil like this, and it'll be silver on the other side. And then around this, we'll have those warm golden lights. It'll create a really good glow at night, I think. But that's the that's the crux. That's the uh, the bulk of of the, uh, the idea. So what do you say, guys? You want to make a want to make a tree? <laughs>